Look at what we have here, a 1929 Packard Sport Phaeton Dual Cowl Nut and Bolt Restored. It has a whole list of prestigious awards. It's recently won. Uh, it has a very interesting history, including being stored in a uh, shed in Portugal for 50 years. You go to volocars.com as you can read the interesting story. Look at pictures top to bottom, including of the restoration process. That's where you'll find a price tag on every car we have for sale, along with the monthly finance payment as well. We also have a buy it now button. If you see something you really like, I suggest you hit that button, get it locked up before someone beats you to it. If you enjoy the videos, go to volocars.com. And click on the bell. I, no, sorry, I messed that up. If you like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon and you'll be notified uh, as new ones are posted. For right now, let's go for a spin. So yeah, it has an interesting history. I'm going to cheat and refer to my notes right now. Uh, but this car was uh, bought brand new by the Count and Countess of Cacum, Portugal. Uh, it's also tied to one of the greatest frauds in history known as the Portugal Bank Note Crisis. The gentleman uh, he, that was responsible for that big uh, bank fraud uh, was tied to this car. He was interviewed in this car, photographed in this car. So just some neat, neat interesting history. It does come with a book with some newspaper articles and magazine story and that sort of thing. Also, we have a really cool picture of the old like carriage house that it was stored in for all those years, and there's pictures of it as they found it sitting there under layers and layers of dust and dirt. But since then, it's been completely restored just recently in some of the awards. In 2010, a Geneva Concourse first place in class. 2012, Amelia Island Concourse best in class second. 2012 Naples Car Show, Best of Show. 2014 Naples Car Show, Best in Class, First Place. 2018 AACA National First uh, Place Winner, Best in Class, and Designated Senior Award Classification. And then just recently, 2023 Naples Car Show, People's Choice. So it's a very fresh car. Um, only have a few hundred miles on it since it's been restored. So what do you want me to tell you about the body? I mean, it's pristine. This is a high-end restoration. The car was restored years ago, and it was a really nice car. We have pictures of it at that time. This gentleman took it all apart. $188,000 was just spent restoring a car that already looked beautiful. Uh, so the work is outstanding. This is all absolutely straight. It's not old and pimpled and cracking. It's not like that at all. This is still ready to go to a national uh, concourse event. So all the body work is pristine, no rust, damage, bubbles, absolutely nice. The gaps are spot on. The doors fit flush. They close real nicely. Everything is straight, no damage, no issues. The body is excellent. It's known as a sport phaeton. So the paint, also polished like glass. Subtle uh, difference, like the band that goes around here, obvious dark in here with the little dark red pinstriping, uh, but very slight uh, two-tone combination. And again, the paint is gorgeous. I don't see a nick or a chip. I mean, I'm sure there may be something, a little touch-up or something, but the paint is beautiful. All of the chrome is gorgeous. So it's a six-wheeler, has dual side mount tires. The metal cover would be an option. The chrome ring would be an option. Has Packard mirrors on both of them. Uh, big chrome headlights, has a little uh, thing on top here, lights up, lets the driver know that they're on. Uh, has the pilot ray uh, lights, trip lights they are. Uh, it has the stone guard. Uh, Goddess of Speed, I think that's what the hood ornament is called. And everything is sparkling. It's all beautiful. There's the AACA uh, award on the front. Uh, yeah, all the chrome's beautiful. The battery is behind the tire here. has a nice aluminum cover. 
The windshield swings open and folds down, all re-chromed, has wing windows. This is called a dual windshield because it has a second windshield right here. It folds down, the windows fold in so you can get in and out. Convertible tan top is all restored and has complete set of matching side windows and all the hardware. It's all wrapped up still, never been used, I don't believe. Uh, has the trunk. This trunk has been completely restored recently. So it's a beautiful trunk with the trunk rack. He also has a canvas cover is sitting inside there that's fitted that goes over that so you can protect that. But needless to say, everything's gorgeous. The wheels were restored. We have pictures of them all of Part and off the car being redone, running boards are redone. Uh, and like I said, a complete set of side curtain windows uh, are to go with it. As a spotlight right here. So why don't we open it up, show you what the motor looks like and how beautiful the interior is. You know, as a kid, probably seven, eight years old, we had a 29 Packard Phaeton just like this. And my father told me it was mine, and I actually believed him. I even wore a Packard hat as a little kid. They sold it on me. So I told him, now here's his chance to make it up to me. So like I said, the uh, dual windshield does fold up. Notice the nice, like, burl wood uh, compartments behind it. They are locked, and I have the keys. They open. Uh, and it's you know, leather trimmed inside. The two upper ones, though, don't open with the bar in the way. Speaking of leather, this is the softest leather I've ever felt in my life. It smells real good like leather, and all of this is absolutely outstanding, beautiful leather. This is the boot. When you put the top down, that goes around the boot. And here are all the side windows, the side curtains and the hardware. You know, underneath this is some really nice uh, red carpet, but absolutely pristine inside here. You got pockets on the doors. It's all soft leather. Same thing in front. You got pockets on each door. They've added turn signals. That makes it a lot more convenient to drive. Uh, you got the switch for the trip lights, that's the lights on the bumper. The dash, the wood is all restored. All the instruments are in beautiful condition. Cigarette lighter. Leather, uh, looks like another pocket in here. Door panel matches the others. Now we have pictures of this, but this is really cool. This is where the car was stored for 50 years, and that's how they found it inside the, the building. Something broke on it, and it got put away. There's magazine articles, uh, all sorts of good information about the car. Then we've got uh, restoration pictures of the car, and these are on our website as well. Uh, it comes with an owner's manual, and then the uh, previous owner made up a nice card on how to start it. So get all soft leather on the upholstery. Steering wheel's in excellent shape. There's a beveled mirror. Actually, this car has 19,749 actual miles. And not many since the restoration. This is a barn find. It was actually a, a U.S. Navy officer brought it uh, back in the 1980s. So this is the straight eight engine. It is a 385 cubic inch, makes about 105 horsepower. And you can see all the components are restored and beautiful. All the right finishes, the right wires. Quick, I'll close this hood and open the other side without scratching it. Yeah, when I was a kid, this is what our showrooms were filled with. Nothing like the feeling of driving one of these or pulling into a car show with one of these cars. This is... Uh, Rolling art.
hit the telephone pole with this one. I didn't mention the underside, but it's all been apart and restored and painted and rebuilt. It's beautiful underneath. Mm -hmm. And you might have noticed the long tailpipe extension that was added just so you wouldn't get exhaust soot all over that beautiful trunk. We're waiting for a burnout, and it's not going to happen. So I really didn't do this car any justice, but really it speaks for itself. Uh, people are spending 100, 200 grand rebuilding Camaros. You can only imagine what a car like this uh, cost. Well, it was $188,000 and they started with a nice car and that was back by uh, before 2010. So in today's times, if someone gave you this car, uh, you'd spend three, 400,000 restoring it. Uh, it's a beautiful car. It's ready to go on tours with the Classic Car Club, uh, ready to go to shows. It's just an interesting piece of history with a great story. Um, it's a great investment for somebody. Go to volocars.com. That's where um, you can talk to the salesman. They'll help answer your questions. They'll help get it delivered, help you get it financed too. Yeah, we can finance this car. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and click on the bell icon. Thanks for watching.